Now using the interactive blend tool. The interactive blend tool of Corel Draw is is a very popular uh, popular and also very uh, powerful uh, tool. Okay, so with the blend tool you can create this kind of graphic, and you can also distribute a graphic using a blend tool. Okay, anyway we'll we'll go for this first example here. This first example, it's a button. It's very simple to do this. So with this one, I'm going to create okay, a rectangle. And I'm going to my shape tool. I'm going to round the corners by doing this. Okay. Now, if you look at this one, there are two objects involved here. It's this one. And it's also the last object here. Okay. And this one are the blends. Okay, so with this one, I'm going to create another one over here, and I'm going to round the corners too. Now I'm going to blend these two objects, but before doing that, I'm going to color it. So for example, here I'm going to color it this one. And it's also best when you're blending two objects and you want to achieve this kind of effect to remove the background, uh, the, the outline. So you go to your outline and then click on none. Okay. So I'm also going to make this. I'll start with white for this one here. I'm going to remove the outline. Click on none. Okay. So now I'm ready to do the interactive blend tool or effect. So I click on the first object, which is the, the bigger rectangle. And I hold down shift and select this one here, the white rectangle small rectangle and I go to effects and I click on blend and when I click on blend a docker will show up which is this one here now here the number of steps is how many steps do I want it to blend okay let's try 20 first and then I'll click on apply here okay. so that's what you get when you when you do the blend now let's say we're going to make this 10 10 blends only. I click on apply here. So if you notice, I'm just going to zoom in here. With the 10 blends steps, you're going to have not really good results. Okay. So the higher the steps, the better the effect. So this one is 20. And I'll zoom out. And there you go. And I can color this one, let's say pink. And uh, and there and then actually I'm not stuck with the position of this small rectangle I can move it up or move it in the center there I can actually also resize it by as I'm gonna resize it going down I'll make it narrower okay it's a really nice one now the this sphere here that's also easy to do with the blend tool so when I click on my ellipse tool, I hold down control, I control and create a circle. And let's say I make that one. Then I'll create another one, another circle. And I'll make it white. Now, like I said before, it's better to have no outline on the blends. So I click on that and go to outline and click on none. Now I'm ready to do the blends here. So I'll make it 20, 20 steps to, and click on apply. There you go. And I can also even resize this or maybe make it a different shape. There. There you go. It's pretty really easy. Now, this one you can also distribute a, a uh, you can also blend two objects with a different size. Okay, let's say I'm going to make this one that color and I'm going to make another one which is orange here I'm going to remove the outline of both both outlines and I can going to blend this one I'll make it I'll start with 10 steps and I click on apply there you go and I can just manually decrease the steps there. Very nice. 